So for this video, we're going to be looking at all of my guardians. Uh, I am naming this video most likely uh, Enemies of Humanity, which essentially means I'm dressing up as the enemies of humanity. It's really that simple. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe really does help the channel grow. I also have noticed that a lot of people that come to my channel or watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, subscribe really does help me out. It's free. And if you don't like my channel, you can just always unsubscribe. Without further ado, let's just get right into it because I think this one's really cool. So. This is my hunter, obviously. Uh, this is a tweak on my old design of the fallen hunter. The main difference is mostly the chest piece, the arms, and the cloak. So if you guys don't know, the old look was actually a little bit more different. Uh, and the reason I'm changing it is because I don't like how it looks anymore, unfortunately. It just doesn't look like a like a fallen to me this was the old look obviously with a different shader I'll actually i'll just put a shader on um i use this one a lot like this is what i used to look like and the reason i don't like it anymore <clears throat> it's actually one part it's the hands the arms specifically uh I love this part. This part's super cool. It's this part that I don't like. It's not even the asymmetrical look because I feel like it works with Fallen. It's more of a, this whole arm just looks so much smaller compared to this one. If there was like bigger pieces, but like in different locations, I would be super okay with it. It's just that it looks so small compared to like the other arm. So I was thinking about combining it with this one. But then at that point, I'm wearing like two pieces of the same. And then I thought, well, you know, I could just do this one over here wherever it is um yeah this one right here i thought about this which i still think looks pretty cool but again it, it falls into into that same problem where i feel like it's not bulky enough for the arms so then i just started like really started trying to like find newer stuff to like really fuck around with and I came up with this look, and honestly, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, the reason I'm using the Crucible Legacy with the devils in the details is because, first and foremost, Crucible Legacy is the closest thing I can find to the House of Devils color scheme. Uh, the reason I'm going for a House of Devils color scheme is because the title of these this hunter specifically is called... Uh, what is it called? I totally forgot. I, someone on my Instagram posted it, and I, I fell in love with the name. It was a scourge of the devil uh which is fucking it's so cool so uh that's why i went with the color scheme that i went with and the reason i went with this with this cloak specifically it's the closest thing to a captain cloak in my opinion and what's even better is uh that the captains have red i'll have pictures obviously showing you guys but i i just fell in love with that whole scheme and this is like my this is the the look i came up with uh you could probably tell me that the the arms are not like fallen themed they are actually fallen themed the uh, these are from season of the hunt uh and season of the hunt we had uh hunters for for or hunters had fallen themed armor titans had uh cabal themed armor and warlocks had hive themed armor so it's it's definitely one of my favorite looks that I've come up with just because it looks really cool. But I'd be lying if I told you that it's perfect because it's not. I, there's obviously pieces that could be better and a lot more things, obviously. But for the helmet, obviously, we're using Mask of Backrest. This is like the best uh, fallen themed ornament that hunters have so far. Uh, for the arms, we are using the Steeple Chase Grasp, which again is from Season of the Hunt. Uh, we are using the, the season of the no, uh, yeah, season of the splicer, right? Yeah, season of the splicer activity chest piece, which is definitely really cool. Definitely love the hoses. Really very uh, thematic to uh, fallen. For the chest piece, we are using the interlaced strides. These are one of my favorite boots to use if I'm going for a, a fallen theme, just because they look really cool. And last but not least, we are using the tangled web cloak for this. Uh, again, definitely one of my favorite looks I've come up with for my hunter. It's it definitely screams fallen to me, but that also me might be just me being super biased. But even even still, like oh no 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 no, even still like I think like this look looks really cool. If I was being really picky, I could probably just do this. But even then, like again, it falls to the same category of just this arm just looks so small compared to everything else. And then uh, maybe this. 
I don't know. I, 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 I'm, all I'm saying is I can't wait until we get another fallen themed or ornament or armor set because I'm definitely not the biggest fan of the pieces that we already have. Although there is a few pieces that I could probably use that would be like good enough for fallen themed armor. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I definitely like how it came out, but I definitely know it could be better. Like something like this, actually, I've thought about too. But actually, this looks pretty cool. But I don't know if you would call this fallen themed, even though it was in a fallen themed raid. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. We are going to get up to the Titan right now. So this is my Titan. Uh, I am cheating. I will admit that I am cheating because I have used this look before in specifically in when uh, the Halloween event was live. This was either the first or second week of that armor set where I just combined pieces of the dino set into like a full set. And the reason I am still using this is because I am obviously going for a war beast look. If you guys don't know what a war beast, it's a cabal dog. I'll show you right now. But essentially, that's what I was going for because I think Titans only have like one specific ornament that's from another uh, enemy, and it's the embodiment of the war beast. <clears throat> I love it. It looks super cool. And I just, I hate how fucking cool it looks. Let me just say that. It looks really cool. Uh, so let's just get right into it. So first and foremost, we're using the steeplechase helmet. This one, you can actually change if you want. You can change the, the chest as well to either one of these. Let me just show you real quick. Uh, you can do it, use this one or this one. You could use these as well. I'm not going to judge you, although people will judge you if you use these because people do not like these. But they look cool in my opinion. They just It's just so hard to find something that looks cool with that. Uh, I have Mask of Roll. This is my one of my favorite helmets in the game for Titans. And this one is actually from Leviathan. Uh, this one is from Leviathan. This one specifically is from uh, Leviathan Pre uh, Prestige, which is like the hard mode. So this one is really cool. Although if, if people want to get technical, this is actually Cabal, but like a uh, Loyalist Cabal helmet. So my, people would be like, oh, that doesn't make sense, Harvader, but, but for me, I don't really care. It's Cabal themed, uh, so Cabal it is. Uh, I will use this helmet just because I really like it, but you could also use the chest piece if you actually want to use something different. I just don't like how it looks. Actually, this looks pretty cool with it. Um. Okay, but the only reason I'm not using it is because I already have the, what's it called? The Mark of the Champion, I think it's called. Or Mark of the Emperor's Champion. Mark of the... Yeah. Mark, Mark of the Emperor's Champion. It's a dumb name. Hold on. Let's go. Let's see. It's a long ass name. Mark of the Emperor's Champion. Yeah. So that's why I'm not wearing uh, any, of the, any of those other ones. Although I could probably do something like this. Because I have, I'm already wearing two pieces. And I would rather wear two pieces of like a piece from, from that old ass armor set probably do something like this too if i'm being honest uh so this one because this doesn't look eh, it doesn't look it doesn't look good never mind so for the arms we're using the embodiment of the war beast which is obviously uh doom doom fang pauldrons this is really cool this is definitely one of my favorite ornaments that the titans have it just makes your selection of armor really limited because obviously the arms are very thin so you're gonna want to use this on thin armor set for the chest piece, we are using Steeplechase Plate, which is from Season of the Hunt. Unfortunately, this is not available anymore. But this is very Cabal-themed. Again, like I said, uh, each class got their own look. And that's what I'm basing it off of because that's just the way it is. For the boots, honestly, I think the boots really, really made this look even look a lot better. The boots are these Technosaurus Stompers, which is from this year's Halloween. And I love it. It definitely gives the vibe more of a animalistic look. If I had a helmet that had like an animal face, aside from this one, because this one doesn't make sense, but like more like kind of like this, I would have done this, but it doesn't make sense. If I had a war beast face, let's just say that. If I had a war beast face, oh my God, this would look so cool. And last but not least, like I said, this is the mark of the Emperor's Champion. This is one of my favorite marks in the game, just because of the simplicity of it, but it also looks kind of regal. 
Titans, let me know. I definitely love this look. For my Instagram, you guys will, will already see this pop up because this is one of the looks that I have on my Titan that I really love. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Definitely love this one. Titans, let me know. And let's go on to the Warlock. And last but not least, we have the Warlocks, which I definitely went a different turn with this one because I feel like people are going to be like, all right, so if he's using the Season of the Hunt armor, he's definitely going to use the the hive stuff right wrong actually i'm using the vex stuff so i this is probably one of my favorite looks to farm my warlock so much so that i actually have an armor set based around it uh all of this so definitely one of my favorite looks that i made for my warlock it's not it's not that hard considering like a lot of pieces you can still oh actually two pieces you can't get anymore but i feel like you can like circum i don't know well, let's talk about it helmet we have the season of the undying phenotype plasticity hood this is from the season ornament this is why i say and i you can't get these pieces anymore unfortunately uh this 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 helmet is definitely like my favorite helmet although this one like is really good as well but i like this one a lot more just because of the red here uh gives off more of a of a vex theme than anything else for the arms, we're actually using the channeling wraps, which is from the Prophecy Dungeon. This is the uh, Trials of the Nine arms. And the reason I'm using it is because A, I didn't want to use another piece of a, a piece I already used. And I love the like the spikes here. It, it's so good with everything else, like spikes here as well. Uh, very pointy, so that's why I went with it. Chess piece is from Vog, uh, Vault of Glass. This is definitely one of the better chess pieces that the Warlocks have, which is why I just immediately was trying to farm for this. And I already knew, like, once I saw this chess piece and remembered the looks, I was like, I already know the look I want to go for. Like, once I saw this chess piece, I knew all of this would, would go together. Like, I already had all the pieces lined up. For the legs, we have the... What the fuck is this one called? Uh, Transverse of Steps with the Path to Convergence uh, ornament on it. Definitely one of my favorite looks that I've made for my for my Warlock. I, I will keep saying this because it looks super cool in my opinion. Last but not least, we have the Phenotype Plasticity Bond. Uh, with For this one, to be quite honest, you can actually just replace this with, uh, with the Raid one. Because the Raid one looks really cool too. Yeah, this one. It looks so fucking cool. But the only unfortunate part is the fact that you will have to basically switch out the helmet and the bond if you're trying to go for this look as well. Uh, I usually don't do this, but if you are looking for that, there is an ornament in the Eververse. Where is it? I don't have it because I wasn't playing Destiny 2 uh, when... Well, I was, but I was playing it on console. You can get this set, which the helmet... Is gonna look even better because this is definitely this is like definitely Vex helmet. Uh, so yeah, if you are interested in doing a, uh, a full Vex look for your warlock, this is your best bet because this looks really cool. Um, another thing, this one I don't think I've done this video yet, but for for all the classes, I made a Vex uh, a overgrown Vex look, and I can't. I I'll give you a sneak peek of... I'm trying to remember the Warlock one. That's why I'm, like, stopping. Because I'm not using the Phenotype or the Path of Convergence ornament. I don't remember what I... Oh, I wasn't wearing any of that. Okay, so let's look real quick. Again, I usually don't do this, but for Warlock specifically, uh, there's a lot of pieces that... Well, I mean, Titans and, and... The Titan and Hunter have pieces as well, but... Uh, let's just... Uh, do this real quick so for this one we had you're going to be using sub, sub, substitutional alloy hood um i know people are going to say oh that's from season of the undying as well but the really cool thing is you can actually so you can actually get this this season if i remember correctly so it's this one and for this one i don't remember i took pictures of it to remind myself so I'll probably go through those pictures because I just don't remember off the top of my head how they looked. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Warlocks, Titans, Hunters, let me know what you guys think. If I'm being quite honest, I think the Warlocks won this one just because I love every piece of it. Like there's no piece that I'm like, man, this could be better. 
Uh, Hunter, I obviously said, like, pieces of that could be a little bit better. The Titan. Uh, I think it's the fact that I'm wearing the helmet and the chest piece that just kind of make it look, like, okay-ish. But for the Warlock, it's literally the, the helmet and the ornament or the the bond so like everything else just looks like oh my god like it it matches so well in my opinion so let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media links are in the description below i thank you all for coming to this point and i'll see you guys later